In Activity 7, Stems, Support, and Supply, students learn about the different functions of a plant stem. Students first examine the stems of a variety of plants and observe that the stem supports the plant. Then they use celery to show that the stem transports water between the roots and the leaves. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 7, magnifiers, boxes of crayons, clear plastic jars, plastic knives, plastic trays, red food coloring, and masking tape. You will also need to provide Activity Sheet 1, seedlings in planter cups, paper towels, celery with leaves, and tap water. To prepare for Session 1, make a copy of Activity Sheet 7 for each student. Students will also need their copy of Activity Sheet 1. Purchase a bunch of celery with the leaves still attached. Each student will need a magnifier and their planter cup of seedlings from Activity 3. If a student's seeds did not sprout, give him or her some plants from the garden box. Each team of four will need a celery stalk, a plastic tray lined with a paper towel, a plastic knife, two boxes of crayons, a clear plastic jar filled halfway with water, a masking tape label, and several drops of red food coloring. To begin session one, redistribute each student's copy of activity sheet one and review the parts of a plant shown in the diagram. Divide the class into teams of four and tell the teams to retrieve the plants grown from seeds in activity three. By this time, the plants should have a well-developed stem and several sets of leaves. Then, distribute a magnifier to each student and have them examine the stems of their plants and describe their shape, color, and firmness. Encourage students to speculate what would happen if the stems were soft and mushy. This should help students identify an important function of the stem, which is to hold the plant up. Next, hold up a bunch of celery and point out the leaves at one end and the location of the roots at the other. Break off a stalk and explain that each of the stems of this plant is often referred to as a celery stalk. Distribute one celery stalk, a tray lined with a paper towel, and a plastic knife to each team. Instruct students to cut about 5 centimeters off the bottom of the stem and examine the cross section with a magnifier. Students should then peel off one or two of these strings from the outside edge of the stalk and look at them more closely with a magnifier. Ask students, what do you think these strings are for? Accept all ideas. Then, distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 7 to each student and two boxes of crayons to each team. Tell students to label and color in the drawing of the celery on the left-hand side of the sheet. Next, distribute a jar of water to each team. Have students place the celery stalk in the jar of water with the cut end down and add about six drops of red food coloring to each jar. Students should stir the water with the celery stalk, then place the jar on a sunny windowsill. Encourage students to think about what will happen to the celery. Some students may guess that the celery stalk will turn red. Accept all answers. To conclude session one, rinse and dry the plastic knives and trays and return them along with the other materials to the kit. To prepare for session two, each student will need a magnifier and his or her copy of activity sheet seven from session one. Each team of four will need its celery stalk and colored water, a tray lined with a paper towel, a plastic knife, and two boxes of crayons. To begin session two, after about four hours, distribute the materials to each team and have them retrieve the jars and activity sheets from session one. Encourage students to remove the stalk from the jar and examine it. They should observe that the leaves have turned red. Then have them cut the celery stalk in half and examine the cross section with a magnifier. They should notice little red dots at the end of a tube or stringy part. Instruct students to scrape the stalk with a knife and describe what they see. They should identify long, thin lines of red running the length of the stalk. Then ask, how did the red color get from the jar to the leaves? Students should respond that the color passed through the tubes in the stem. Help students understand that plant stems helps make food for the celery plant and also transports water and nutrients between the roots and the leaves. Finally, instruct students to complete the activity sheet and let them know that in the next activity, they're going to study leaves. To conclude session two, discard the celery stalks. 
Rinse and dry the jars, plastic trays, and plastic knives. Return them, along with the magnifiers and crayons, to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide. <laughs>